Welcome back to another Overthrow Disc Golf video. This is Zach Nash, and this is his spin. Decent. Pretty good. <laughs> Zach Nash is an Innova sponsored touring player. Just finished 33rd. 33rd at Worlds. It's pretty, pretty decent. Obviously, we're here today talking because even though he's a great player, he's got outrageous spin, great speed, and that probably gives you just as many questions as I have about his spin. So we're gonna go into his form and I'm gonna make some kind of theories, some guesses, some hypotheses. Uh, but first, I want him to talk about his thought process about spin. What do you think about and why do you think you have lots of spin? The reason I think I have lots of spin in my throw is primarily grip strength. When I grip the disc, I like to grip it very hard. So when I'm gripping it, I go just inside the brim of the disc so I can apply the pressure. And I like to put most of it on the backside of my grip on these three fingers. And I like to keep my wrist straight so when I pull through, I can release outside and not what I would say would be inside, which would be way out here. I want it to be right here. So I mostly so, for accuracy, I would say. So more of like an 11 o'clock re yeah. release, very intentional. Um, show me your grip again. This index finger hook there, Pinching pretty hard on like this knuckle here. Mm -hmm. Is that right? But just sit not all the way curled. Point. That's pretty interesting. And hey, I'm here to just like crowdsource this thing too. I don't have all the answers on spin. I'm just as curious as you guys. Um, and your wrist, he's trying to lock. You're trying to lock out your wrist. I'm trying to keep it straight. I'm not keeping it crazy locked, but I am trying to keep it flat. You're trying to keep it from moving. Yeah, and, and when I put the pressure here, my wrist doesn't bend much anyway. Mm -hmm. Okay, and what about the rest of the arm? So we've got 11 o'clock release, mm -hmm. crazy strong on the grip, trying to keep the wrist from moving, and what about the arm, like tension? and For my arm, I try to push my elbow out as far as I can during the swing, level with my shoulders. And when I'm here, I try to push my left shoulder back to build tension. I can feel my muscle tighten in the left. And as I come through, I try to just keep my elbow out and then follow with my wrist, like I'm aiming with my elbow, punching through. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you're gonna see in the form that we take later that he's much more open at the hit than other people. So that kind of has me guessing in certain places, uh, like, is it because he's more open? Things like that. But any other thought processes? So you're you're creating tension in your core, tight in your core. Yeah, I'm like, flexing my core the whole throw. Like all the way, all the way through. Abs are tight. Left left lat is tight the entire time. Okay, so my current thoughts on this is maybe people who are more open, like their chest is more forward, their hips are more forward at the release can get more spin. And here's just my theory on it. I'm sure we got some science you guys in the chat. Feel free on this one to write a couple paragraphs and I'll read them. Not always the case with those long comments, but uh, we're gonna switch places here. So my thoughts on spin are is that, is that if you're here, if you're forward like this, now when you're gripping like this and your disc is trying to push forward down the line more this way, your hand being here allows you to more directly pull back as this other edge tries to move forward down your line. You're gripping here and your hand is resisting almost directly backwards versus someone who stays more side on at the hit. Here, when it starts pivoting, my hand is resisting backwards, but it's also resisting to the right. So you're not getting that kind of like coin flip feel where you're here and you're pushing one side forward and the other side directly backwards. So in my mind, that kind of makes sense. We're gonna see with his form, he's a little higher. Other reasons why I think it might be that 
is because you have Thomas Gilbert, for example, who's a bit more chest forward than some other guys. He's got good high spin. Brian Earhart's got decently high spin, and he's a bit more open than other guys. So all the guys that I'm seeing that are open also tend to get a bit more spin. And then you've got guys who are really close who don't get outrageous spin, especially in reference to their speed. Girthy breaks that, sorry. He throws 1,600. Girthy breaks that. So for me, I'm curious, like, okay, what is Paul's what is Paul's spin since he's more open? Again, these are just kind of questions in my mind. I don't know. I'm not. If you hear, oh, Josh knows how to get more spin, you've misheard. But those are my current thoughts. So I want to see now if I can break his spin with some of these hypotheses, and let's see if we can get him to like normal person spin. Reverse engineer. Cool. So maybe maybe try a loose grip first and see what happens. Just pressure wherever. Same same grip that same you normally grip. use. Just super loose with the hand. Just loose. Yeah. Okay, that was super loose and slipped out. So too loose. maybe just a hair more. It That's just, the same speed. Dude. Just, that looks so slow. It just falls out of my hand. Right, right. Okay, so can we up it? To, can we up the grip pressure like slowly? Yeah. Like maybe 10% at a time and let's see what happens. All right. I think I'm gonna have a hard time getting the speed up and keeping the grip. Sure. Yeah, another 10% here. I got you. Dang. <laughs> I don't know that I can do it. You can't go fast. Yeah, you physically can't go faster. I'm right? pretty sure if I physically go faster, it's gonna really slip. It's gonna go out, and it's not gonna. Is like, that is that your same arm speed for seventy something? Let me try. Let me try seventy because I think my arm speed is gonna go seventy, and the disc is gonna slip out and go fifty. Right. Right. Yeah, but we'll try it. Yeah. I think arm speed there is 70 plus and okay. it's, yeah, 52, 14. But still good spin. Even, even though it slipped out, you still got good spin. It feels like all the pressure's on these back fingers though. I think that's, I think that's what's doing it. I think if I, can I go pressure front Dude, load? please. I wanna go front fingers. Okay. Sixty-six. Fifteen, eighteen. That's not bad, right? What do you mean? That's really good. Right. I want to try fan grip. I go yeah, yeah. Grip. Hey, we're here. We are right. here for it. Fan grip. That got to the hit. Pretty sure it's still high spin. Oh, not as high though. In the seventies, it's a bit lower. Okay. All right, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go the same grip I was going, but pressure on the back side of my thumb. Okay. That's the secret. Swooshy thumb. Whoa, bro, what? Hold on. Is your but you're normally on the point. Yeah. Right. I'm normally on the pad of my thumb. Okay, so it doesn't make a difference. Apparently not, not much. Okay, go go back to the fingertip. It's pretty high. Yeah. It's not very We're fast around either. Try a gossage grip to see if it makes a difference from him backloading versus full. Like, what is a gossage grip? He does two finger power grip up front. Like this? Right. That's how he actually? Yeah. That's how he holds it, yeah. Really? Don't hurt your fingers. That's impossible. Oh, wow. <laughs> he has strong fingers. You don't make it to the hit. No, it's right. straight out. Straight out of the hand. <laughs> ADV is still super high, so. Yeah, the spin's still really good. Okay, now try back two fingers. Like this? Yeah. How, where do I put my front to? I just keep them on there. Okay, just, I just don't, don't use it. No pressure. Yeah. So that means no pressure with the thumb either, really. Probably. That slipped. That will definitely drop. There's no way. 
What? <laughs> Dude, okay, so here, to me, doesn't this feel like it doesn't matter? Doesn't it feel like it's something other than grip? Got it. Except for the fact that your arm, like you have to grip, like you've just found a grip that keeps it in your hand yeah. into the hit. Yeah. That's what it feels like. Yes. Right? <laughs> okay. Right. So it's something other than grip for spin. Gotta be. Right. I think we're on the same page here. Um, okay. So Watch, now. I play like wrist, wrist angle then? Yes. Yeah, yeah. I try to keep your wrist loose, okay. right? Let it loose, see what happens. Loose wrist. Got all the way to the hit. Nothing wrong with the hit there. Loose wrist, more spin. Further. Can you throw faster? That was deep. Right, I think you got it. It was up. It's up, but it wasn't a huge difference. Right. Hmm. I think 74. I'll try to do it more full power. I think my fingers are running out of juice. Right. Okay, okay. That's what's funny. Wait, wait I want to do. Five. I want to do one like this, where it's out a little bit, and then I want. Yeah, do a this little flick. Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just. So y'all are saying get it here and like push the. I was catching on my shirt. Just curled. Just for curled longer. Longer to get their your elbow out. Yeah. Okay. Well, even what you showed there still isn't it though. What? Your, this like this. <laughs> That. This is not gonna be it. It's, You'll never get there. You'll never get there. But try. You're too, you have too fast. I don't know how I can get there with any speed. Right. We'll try, we'll try. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Huh? Huh? We broke it. <laughs> That's interesting. We broke him. It's stuck, dude. Right. Yeah, just rip it off. He said, it's not your, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so that's actually the, that's interesting though. Oh, do you think the spin lowered because it stopped spinning because of the impact? Yes, I don't know, maybe. I have no clue, dude, this is wild. Yeah, throw it. Uh, try it one more time. Try one more on that, let's see what's happening. The, I feel like a guinea pig. Good. That was just terrible. I hit my chest and everything. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so you did lower the spin by like 200. The thing that I noticed is like his line was more over here. Right. So actually by the time you got here, your line was like to your right. Right. Yeah. Where usually you're very like forward onto your line. So can you intentionally throw hard earlier than 11 o'clock. Let's try it. Like try to keep your shoulders, instead of having your chest go here, can you try to keep your chest like to Mikey and still hit your 11 o'clock, I guess I should say. Like that. Yeah, right. throw it to the same spot. It's gonna almost be like a late release to you, I guess. Well, he's too locked in. Right, did it get, did the chest get forward enough? The chest was forward. Oh, I mean, the chest did get forward. Yeah. Yeah. To okay, keep well, my chest back. Your back. Because you're usually here. Oh, keep at my your back hit. shoulder here. I want you to be, chest. instead of here at the hit, I want you to be here at the hit. Okay. I think I understand. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you did it. <laughs> I think you did. It yeah. was just weak. Yeah, you did it. What? <laughs> How? Bro. I can't mess it up no matter what I do. Okay, hold on. You're still... Oh, you got the slow-mo? I did. Yeah, you did it immediately. It's crazy how literally his form is not that, but he did it. Dude, what on earth? Do I look like Ezra? What is it? Do I look like Ezra? <laughs> oh. Okay. Let's try this. Can you take your backswing out? Keep it out like this? Yeah, like towards me. Yeah, let's try and still go yeah, over Do your here. normal form, do everything normal. Just take your backswing to me, like wide. That was almost wide. It was very straight back. Right. Woo! He's crushing right Bro, now. Bro, what? How'd you throw faster? <laughs> That's like what I try to do. Oh, okay. 
That's like my normal form. I try to keep my normal form really wide unless Brother. I'm just crushing it. Negative one one nose angle. Not a big deal. I'm impressed though. Uh, yeah, I mean you burned over at 421. Right. I'm gonna try flick a little like. Okay. Keep it out. You did. You did. That yeah, one still slipped. got four slipped out early. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, it's easier to do that with my wrist uh, and when my arm's sore already. I feel like it's easier to just keep it loose, kind of. I'm gonna try it again. I'm gonna try it again. Yeah. That's weird. This has gotta be the best video we've ever done. It's so much fun. Maybe that's part of it. It's pretty high. It spins pretty high. I don't know that I'd ever like make that my form, but that's pretty cool to know that. Yeah, why? It just feels inaccurate to you? Yeah, I don't think I could hit a well, gap throwing like that. There's too much wrist movement with the disc for me. That's all you pro guys care about is accuracy. That's all that matters. <laughs> accuracy and throwing far when you want to. Okay, well, we have no more answers than when we first begun. We got more information. We know that basically nothing we do changes it. We didn't learn much. And then he asked. We didn't do the putters. <laughs> what about putters? Now, don't get that one stuck in the screen. That'd be impressive. <laughs> like, literally, it doesn't matter. Right. I feel like we can do better. Okay. He's going so fast, dude. No. <laughs> 70. Okay. Okay. That's that's like his first throw that he has. Yeah. So that's that's very cool. Come on, where's the You're getting me jacked up. <laughs> <laughs> got me jacked up. This video was supposed to be about spin. Now it's uh, about 100 miles an hour. Oh, you're consistent. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we're back. We just have to break 80 one time. Yeah, yeah. As yeah. B Okay. Come on, hey, it's easy. You got that. I mean, that, that's gotta be baby, dude. Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's my nice spin, too. All right. Okay. Good. So the putters, not significantly no. more or less spin. But they are way more fun to throw. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now, transition to the field. Everybody, that is Zach Nash. Highest spin I've ever seen in my entire life. We are not really closer to any answers, but we got a lot of non-answers. So community, get to work. I'm gonna read the comments. So if you're smart like that, I wanna hear about it. Zach, where can they find you on social media? Just joking right here. Follow him if you want to see uh, more immaculate throws like this. This is for you, Josh. Thank you. Nope. Oh gosh, I hope we find it. We'll find it. I got eyes. 6.30. Yeah. Just a... Uh, Peace out, guys. <laughs> <laughs>